Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from C4D Tuts. Um, I think my uh, sound should be good this time. Last uh, tutorial, we had a little bit of static. Um, I figured out why one of my USB ports wasn't working. So there's some like bullshit stuff going on. But anyways, I hope it sounds good this time. Um, I can't really tell right now because I'm talking to a mic, obviously. <laughs> but um, this is the third tutorial that I'll, I've uploaded to my channel. Um, this one will be on basic uh movement um basic key keyframing so basically how to make an object move um this can be done with any object really um so first we could i guess we could just start out with a, a sphere so just dra or create any object just do a square a sphere it doesn't matter whatever you want to make move um it doesn't really matter where it is but down here this will be the uh main tools that we'll be using to do movement um these are these are a time frame. Um, to change the time, usually it starts out at 90, but I think I changed it already. Um, usually it starts out as 90, but if you want to change um, the length of your uh, your project, you could just uh, double click this and type in here. Uh, for like when I'm making intros, I usually just do 300 frames because 300 frames is 10 seconds, and that's a pretty good, decent amount of time for an intro. <clears throat> but um, all right, so what you're gonna do for uh, basic movement and basic keyframing these are the uh, tutorial or what am I saying uh, these are the buttons that you'll be using for uh, for keyframing right now nothing is happening in the timeline or nothing is going on in the project it's just nothing really so if you want to get this uh, sphere to say move over to here like during the project um, so right now we are at zero frames so you have to make a marker right here with the the keyframer that's the automatic or I mean this is the manual keyframer this is the automatic one um, I'll go over both of these alright so um, what you do is you set a point right here you set a keyframe right here and then let's just move to like 60 frames it doesn't really matter I'm just showing you how to do it um, and then you can drag it down just drag it to drag the sphere to uh, right there and set another point and this right here is the motion path that uh, that the sphere will be moving. So if you hit uh, go all the way to the back and then press play, your sphere will have basic movement. Um, you can set more of these so it can go all over the fucking place. Um, this is really useful for basically anything tutorial or not tutorials for um, like intros um, for any of that crap basically. So um, like if you want to do more than one of these, you could set another one at 80 and then have it go down after that so then there will be sort of like an arc I guess you could say so then after that your uh, your animation will be like that so um alright and now I'm going to delete all of these keyframes and show you how to do uh, to do the uh, automatic keyframing for this one um, it really just charts some movement um, on its own so like what am I doing um if you wanted to uh start right here then um you can drag it down and then you have your next point right here um I don't really like this one at all it's sometimes inaccurate I use uh the manual one but this one is basically just charts it on its own like if you wanted to start at zero you basically just start here and then when you move to here, like say you want to have it move at 60 frames, which is two seconds, you then drag it to where you want it to move to. So that's your path, really. Um, then after that, you could like move it to like 90, and then you could have it move this way. So then what you have is you know another arc. Um, so that's how to use manual keyframing, or that's how you use automatic keyframing. Um, I prefer automatic. But it or fuck, I prefer manual, but it's really just up to you guys. Um, so yeah, that's just a basic tutorial how to do movement. You can do this with any object. You can do it with text. You can do it with uh, like models. You can do it with anything really. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's the uh, third Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, thumbs up, favorite, comment if you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope to upload more. Peace.